Alrighty, hello everyone. Welcome to the Cap City Chaos Guilty Gear Exert Rev 2 bracket. I am your host today, Lord Advent, and here joining me is... I am Blitz, who is the other host here. Guilty Gear Exert, for those who don't know, was the gear game that uh, Arxis released in 2014. It got two, uh, two updates to it, which introduced uh, new characters and also balance changes. Uh, and the one that we're looking at is Exert Rev 2, which released in 2017. So it's so the game that preceded Strive. And you'll see it's got some differences, but there's also a lot of overlap between the way that the two games work. And the way the two games look sometimes. But honestly, this is a game that I've played for a while. Obviously, Blitz, is, Blitz has definitely been exposed to it much less than I have, but showed him a lot of gameplay a couple days ago, and he gets the idea. I'm here to have a good time. I'm gonna be here getting hype. Expect uh, Advent to give you most of the analysis, but I'm sort of I can't play, wait. Uh, understanding what's going on here. And right now for our first match, we have Drifter Dane and Feather. Looks like we got uh, Dizzy and Johnny on the oh screen. Yeah, Dizzy and Johnny. Definitely an interesting matchup. Dizzy is a this character that... This is a very exert matchup, isn't it? Yeah. Dizzy's a character that doesn't see a whole lot of play, but the play the people that do play her are definitely extremely cracked at the game. And of course, Johnny is Johnny. He needs I, no introduction. Yeah, I, I can't wait to see what we're going to see here. Going straight in with no button sticks. Drifter Dane getting the advantage. Dizzy definitely having extremely good space control against this character, which makes it problematic for Johnny to get in whatsoever. Oh yeah, he's And she he's just gets to beat him up over here. Oof. Yeah, being in the corner in a game like Exert is exactly not where you want to be. Right. And uh, it's going to be absolutely crucial that Feather, Feather figure out a way out. out. Unfortunately, just can't get out there. Oh yeah, those air throws really, really potent in this game. Wow, Getting that was a very I, commanding I round. Spike there. Dizzy taking that extremely easily, it looks like. Drifter Dane going up one round. First point on the board. Yeah, let's see if Feather can find the answer. I'm sure it lies somewhere within Johnny's toolkit. Absolutely, but a character with no reversal, even even one as good as Johnny is going to struggle, but Drifter Dane putting himself in the corner, this might be Feather's chance. Yeah, it was, a, it was an opportunity, but I think that opportunity has passed. The, it's, it's the OP oh, tool. No. Oh no, the whiff burst. Right yeah. back into the other corner. Just cannot deal with any of the Oki. Yeah, this this Oki pressure has just been... It looks airtight, and Feather has uh, not quite found the way out yet. Although, it looks like he might have something cooking here. He's found his way. Oh, but just gets thrown right out of the air. Yeah. Drifter Dane taking the first point. That was a pretty decisive victory, I would have said. Yeah, like... He had... Drifter Dane had some definite openings in their play, but the Feather just could not take advantage of any of them. Let's see if he can make the uh, adjustments he needs to here. All right, immediately starting off the coin, he got the Mist Finder, getting quartered, but unfortunately just gets mashed out on by Dizzy. Goes okay. to the gold burst immediately, yeah, pretty good decision. That, that burst was a great decision, but it's looking like he's he might have trouble using the meter that he gained. Oof. Yeah. Definitely not and, a great spot for him to be. Yeah, and he's he's just stuck in this neutral loop here. Just cannot figure out a way to uh, get his oppressive advantage. And that's Bro, that combos that's, off of it too. Right, it, that's that's really one of the big parts of learning matchups in anime fighters. You don't have to learn the matchup if you can just keep your opponent from playing the game. Right. Sometimes you just gotta make the game single player, and that is exactly what Dane is aiming to do, it looks like. Getting a combo off his throw there, get a very clean Oki setup. Yeah, he had to burst there. Just straight oh, up no. looping it. But like right Oxen away. Just getting right back, stuck in the corner. Excellent projectile placement from Drifter Dane there. Spikes him off with the ice spike, blazer. Three overheads in a row, classic. Classic air dash momentum. And Drifter Dane will be taking the first set of the tournament. At least yeah, the first was, set on stream. 
That was really decisive. Absolutely. It just... Feather did not even get a chance to play there, it looked like. Uh, it seems it seems like your uh, observation about Dizzy players might have been very true. Listen, it's, it's uh, just... Prophetic. She's a character with a super, like, pretty high barrier to entry. But at the same time, she also just has a lot of good tools and has the best Oki Zeme in an Oki game, so... Yeah. It's hard yeah. to argue with how good she is. Stuff like that is absolutely always important. Mm -hmm. As you can see, we're coming at you live from definitely Ohio. Definitely. We are definitely just invisible. We got both trees now, baby. Yeah, both trees. Let's go. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta like put the trees in the chairs. <laughs> right on top of us. Just to just to give the give the audience some semblance of us being there. We we are there. I'm point I'm pointing at you guys right now. <laughs> it's it's like the chip burst. <laughs> exactly. You just got replaced by the trees. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Perfect. Absolutely perfect in every single way. It's a pretty good representative of uh, what we look like too. Just uh, incredibly spindly. Oh my! <laughs> yep. Wow. Getting yep. RKO'd in the background there. Absolutely getting folded. Oh, oh wait a minute. Oh. Command grab. Who could have seen that coming? That was unblockable, unreactable. All right, so it looks like for our next match, if I'm not mistaken, we'll be moving to a different pool. Not quite sure who we have just yet. I see, all right. Gotcha. Yeah, I see that. They're plugging in right now as we speak. You can hear the telltale the, on. the telltale Windows connection detected sound All effect. Right, so let's see, we got we got Hitbox versus Fight Stick. This will be the ultimate decider of whether or not one controller is just straight up cheating. Oh yeah, this is a hundred percent the sole decider. It's the just like how decider. it's just like how if you win the mirror matchup against someone else. You are clearly the better player of that character, and Dude. there is nothing else involved in making that decision. Exactly. Now you're speaking my language. Anyway, they're getting set up here. We'll see their character choices here in a bit. Ah, uh, those Xbox 360 controller <laughs> sprites. <laughs> Nostalgic. All right. Oh my goodness. Do you there suspect that uh, Noel plays Blaze Blue too? Just a crap. Oh my goodness, there he is, the man himself, Slayer. Slayer and Soul. This sounds like a gorilla matchup if I've ever oh. heard of it. Oh, it definitely is. But the cool thing is that both these characters have like insane combo game. Oh so yeah. So it's definitely going to be a pretty hype match. Got their buttons all set up. Mondo is Slayer. Noel is Soul Bad Guy. Let's see how they choose to handle the matchup. Will they go for a button check round one? I'm not sure. Now Based on the straight fist into bump. It. They're going straight into it. Yeah, it sure looks that way. All right, let's see. Mondo Cosmo versus Noel. Slayer versus Soul. Gorilla versus Gorilla. Who will be the king of the jungle? Does Slayer look like the type of guy who's ever going to retire? Absolutely not. Let's be real here. He, that, retiring isn't dandy enough for him. Absolutely. Unfortunately, we'll uh, we got we got neutral being played. Immediate pile bunker into another one. Gets gets corner on Noel here. Yeah. Looks All like the... uh, looks like Slayer is doing what Slayer does. Ooh, the cross-up on the on the command dash there. Oh, wow. It's right behind Huge these cross-ups from Mondo Cosmo. Kind of that, insane. That was a great punish on that Viper whip. Definitely hitting him well with the mix. Going to go for the Roman into the Pile Bunker finisher. That's going to wow. be round one. Yeah, that was that was strong stuff. He, he, he needed one neutral opening, and then he was able to just bust Noel wide open. 
That's what that's what Slayer does. He gets that one new it, like he struggles with that one neutral, but once he gets it, he's in there. That was a he's great cooking. throw. All right, oh. all right, crosses up behind the wild throw. Yeah, excellent teleport. Okay. All right. Yeah. But Noel's getting some damage on the board here. Goes to the wild throw. Yeah, we got the wild throw, so we've got a combo off of it. Also, the Oki setup. Oh, yeah. Which the wild was... throw, but Roman's it. But now, now Noel's the one in pressure. Doing some great defense here, though. But the mix up is going to get him. Amano Cosmo is going to take game one. Pretty cleanly, I'd say, but. Uh, I definitely saw some signs of life from Noel here. Mm -hmm. I think that a uh, few less whiffed vipers, and we can see some, some action from both sides. Oh, but that whiffed burst is uh, oh my goodness. definitely not this helping matters. Be, this is going to be big damage. Oh, no. Oh, my God. This is massive. Wow. That's going to be it. I'm just going to okay. take the round like that. This is a real hill that Noel has to climb. That was a great teleport and able to get the whiff punish off. But Noel yeah, no firing one. back with that gray beat combo. Noel having oh. to deal with Noel having to deal with Slayer's like teleport dash definitely makes it a lot harder for Soul to be able to actually get the hits that he needs. Oh absolutely. But I'm mean, definitely getting some here. I mean there's there's a chance that he can just swing. And suddenly he's just getting goes whip right for the for Grand Viper life. into the into the regular Viper. He's got Oki here. That's wild a throw great here. Wild throw. Gonna Gets get the a corner cross into the Fafnir. Yeah, this and that should him. be it. Unless, yeah. unless Exert Scaling can't save you from Tyrant Rave, that's for sure. Okay. Yeah. Noel putting one on the board. Not gonna go down silently. Oh wow! Some signs of life and taking the lead here, pretty, pretty, pretty cleanly. But unfortunately, having to deal with the Slayer pressure and just his good mash options. Yeah, that, those overheads really dangerous. Pile bunker and this. Noel's got to get it. pretty convincing. Oh, oh the whip no! Burst, but no! Wow! That, that hurts a lot. Extremely unfortunate burst there. Mm-hmm. Just caught it in the wake up frames, Slayer. Oh wait, hang on, we got. <laughs> uh, thank you. I thank cannot you, base, read the rest. Thank you, base god. Let's go. Let's go. Mondo I thought it was pretty showing, based. Mondo is definitely showing his love for Slayer, his undying loyalty to the vampire man. His neutral was great. That was yeah. extremely convincing. All of those teleports. I mean. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, I think we could really take some notes from that. Yeah, that set was so insane that we had to stand up. They just they took the chairs from us. Yeah, I I mean, standing up is the best way to get hype, if you ask Absolutely. me. Absolutely. And you know, Honestly, we, we just got to do our duty here. Hmm. Make sure that everyone else rises. We got to get the standing ovation out of the people. For Mondo there. Mondo's gameplay. I've never, I've never seen a Slayer neutral quite like that. Yeah. His approaches and... were on point. His like cross-ups and every single form of mix he did on point. Didn't see a I... whole lot of meter burn, but it didn't really matter because Slayer just gets big damage off of everything. I absolutely have some hope from Noel for a loser's bracket, though. I could mm -hmm. definitely see signs of, uh, of good things happening. Just a few too many mistakes. Especially those Vipers. Those were unfortunate. Yeah. I think I think we saw like three or four. Yeah, so it was three or four whiffed Vipers. Oof. Which in Strive, that wouldn't be a problem. But in Exert, you're not getting away with that very easily. It seems like fighting Slayer is something you have to, you have to play kind of non-committal for. Because at any time he could teleport behind you, and you just have to make sure that you're not in so many act or so many uh, recovery frames that you can't deal with it. Mm -hmm. So I guess we'll see if uh, anyone in this bracket can make that adjustment and uh, take him down. But we got like, a long road ahead. But normally in anime fighters, you have characters that excel in high low and characters that excel in left right mix.
righty, good to know. Which pool is this in? Oh, I see. It's in uh, it's in the E2 it's pool. E2. Got it. All righty, so we got Johnny and Slayer. Definitely a, an extremely exert matchup. Oh, yeah. Wish versus Zeppelet. Let's see how it goes. Let's see if each player gives it their all here. Absolute banger song choice. Absolutely. All right. Zeppelite immediately getting the, the first big confirming hit, but Wish going straight for the gold burst. Oh, yeah. That gold burst, I'm sure, will be a deciding factor. <laughs> well, if he can win oh, neutral. Oh, the double blood sucking universe. Jeez. All right. Oh, man. Okay. He needs to figure out. Yeah. Oh, and that dead angle got baited out. Oof, this is a this is a rough one That's for him. Big damage. Unfortunately, not able to just Slayer's damage for a game like this is absolutely crazy. Even with a game as high scaling as this one. But <laughs> Wish managing <laughs> to win neutral here, but oh. putting himself in the corner against Slayer. Yeah, that's not rough. a position you want to be okay. in whatsoever. He made it back out. This is a big opportunity. If he can resist this pressure for just a little bit. A little bit. Gets command grabbed. Oh, into the pile bunker, but OTGs. He's got his burst back. Okay. All right. And manages to get some confirming hits. He's now got level three for his from his coins, but is gonna get thrown back to the corner. Oh, the wake up throw. Great minds think alike by the looks of it, eh? Absolutely. And there's the misfinders coming out. Unfortunately, not much. Just gonna burst out of that. Not even gonna give it a chance to rock. Understandable. Oof. That was a big opportunity. All right, goes to the grab into the into the finisher with the meter. Okay. Zeppelin is gonna take game one pretty convincingly there. I I think that Wish can definitely make the adjustments he needs. I think I think he can see uh, at least some of the stuff he did wrong there. Mm -hmm. All right, immediately starting off, Wish has neutral, but is gonna get grabbed out of it. Into into the Man. teleport grab, jeez. Okay, he is stuck in the corner yet again. But okay. looks like looks like they're trying to break out. Uh oh, got but he just gets life. he just gets caught on all of these approaches, and it is uh, really paying dividends for Zeppelet here. Yeah, double bite definitely does not help to get hit by in this situation, and it looks like that's gonna be it. Just gonna get a pretty good air combo to finish the round. The round. Wish winning neutral here at this round start is absolutely crucial. That's a great start. But unfortunately, gonna get teleported into the pot, into the overhead there. Oh, and just getting absolutely eaten alive in a very literal sense. But we're back in neutral. He we're just back can't, out of neutral. He just can't resist this pressure. All right, yeah. first out. Absolutely had to do that. I think the first successful burst we've seen against Slayer so far. Oh, counter hit, pretty big, but got a burst out there. I, I agree with this burst from Zeppelet. Mm -hmm. If he can, if he can manage to win uh, just one more interaction, he will be able to easily clinch this entire set. Which running out of coins, not a good position for Johnny to be in. Hanging on with just barely like a sliver of health oh. left, but gonna get hit by the pile bunker. Oh yeah, really well played from Zeppelet there. It's definitely a complete blowout. Zeppelet just kept winning neutral. It was the pressure was dominant. All of his mix ups were really good. I think Wish might want to toss a few of those coins into a wishing well. Wish for some uh, better foresight in these uh, block strings. Wish for a better reversal. Or wish for a few backdashes to get away from those command grabs. That was rough. Yeah, the, the double command grab every mix-up definitely, definitely did not help Wish's position. You may be uh, you may be wondering why there is a third tree here. It's a good question. We don't know when he got here, but we suspect yeah, that yeah, the third tree is matchstick. Come on. Oh. <laughs> Oh, well, you know what, Matchstick? Sometimes you just get arb arborally transmogrified, and it just happens. You know? It's on, on commentary. It is definitely a possibility, but you know what? 
it, from my perspective, there truly is nothing better to be than a tree. We've just mastered the ninja art of substitution. These are our these are our body doubles right now. Yeah, these are like our Horcruxes. Mm -hmm. Mastering the dark art of commentary. Teaching the trees how to commentate. Dude, shrub quotes. Shrub quotes. Oh no. I don't. You know what, Kellen? Yeah. That's exactly it. You know, you always get on me about making puns. I don't think we're going to be able to top shrub quotes today. Truly, truly, this is the best timeline. <laughs> oh god. It started. Yeah, we're we're going downhill here. Someone better call Timber. Alright, looks like we're going into our next game. Is this Wish and Space Panda? I think it's uh, Suna and Phoebe. Ah. Alright, is this, oh, is this the first button check? Okay. It's the first button check. Everyone, everyone round of applause. I think I understand the way that uh, that you're setting up the bracket now. Mm -hmm. Man, oh my, oh my god, this jab is so fast. That, in this that, game. Is, that is an insane match. Put him in a Mario Party minigame. <laughs> it's no longer a button check. This is just a this is a battle of wits. Battle of can mash harder. He is checking one or two buttons. And he is just making sure that those ones work. Oh my god. This is going to be a crazy matchup. Yeah, Chip versus Axel in a completely different game, gameplay-wise. Either, either Chip is going to be able to get in and absolutely blow up Axel, or he is never going to even get close. He will not even be able to approach. Alright, they're going back to character select. It seems the button check is finally over. It seems that his punch and kick button do in fact function. They they are indeed functional. They work. This is a good character select theme. I dig yeah. this. It's nice back when fighting games had. Character selects themes that weren't just the main theme of the game. Not to not to dog on smell of the game's instrumental version or anything. But I missed when character select screens it had original songs with them. That's not even talking about Street Fighter 6's character select screen theme. Oh god. But that's completely unrelated. Looks like we're getting into the match now. Chip versus Axel. Suna versus Phoebe. Let's do this thing. Let's rock. You know what? That was a better use of verbiage. Probably yeah. could have used that myself. Probably more fitting. Axel's design in this game is one of those, it's like, I can't really go back and look at it without thinking, man, this is just worse. Because it's in this, like, weird middle ground between Accent Core and uh, Strive, where I think both those designs are really good. And now he's back to jorts. Yeah, he does, in fact, have some jorts. See some shuriken right off the bat there. Sure, and the immediately definitely. swinging his way out of the corner is Suna. And then yeah. immediately swinging his way into the corner. All expense paid trip to the corner. Just wanted to go coast, co coast to coast, get familiar with his surroundings. I don't know how Axel's gonna perform this matchup. What with, the, what, what with his slower buttons, but like his zoning definitely makes it so that Chip has a harder time getting in. But Chip in this game doesn't seem to have a hard time getting in against anybody. But Axel has a reversal in this game, so it's hard to. I mean, both of these characters can also just blow up at any time. Yeah, I think so it's really going to depend. Blade. I think it's really going to depend on uh, how good these players' combo games are. A circle strike into the yellow Roman. Oh man! Suna fighting drops the combo. out of the corner. 
Okay, yeah, that's a huge opportunity. Yep. Not Taxes able to fight hard attack. enough. That was really good stuff from Phoebe. Mm -hmm. Phoebe definitely taking pretty good control over neutral with Chip with Axel here. Oh, oh no. the DP, why? What are you doing? Oh, this is a really bad situation for Suna to be in. Does have burst, but the question is how useful is that going to be against Axel? Axel may be his owner, but being in the corner against him is not somewhere you want to be. Wow. And Phoebe is proving that extremely well. That was a very convincing second round. Mm -hmm. Going into going into game two, Suna definitely needs to tighten up his neutral if he wants to be able to approach. Okay, he, also's got, he has also got to make sure his punishes are good. It's a good round start. Got some corner carry off that combo, but not as much as he probably would have wanted. Oh, and wow! Faded Blade, but it doesn't matter. Manages to uh, just come out swinging. Putting him in the corner, going for a teleport mix, back into a combo. Oh, really yeah. Really good reset. This is exactly where Chip wants to be. Mm -hmm. Back in the corner, unfortunately, gets grabbed. Excellent throw there, and a really good punish off of it. Doesn't get much of a combo, but manages to even the game up with it. Unfortunately, getting caught by the by the twister there. Not getting caught a second time though. Ma Max risk chip is a fast way to die, however, as as you can see. And once again, the question is, when does he use his burst? That is the eternal like question against zoners. The crazy thing about Arc's this game is that every time there's a zoner, it's like. Actually, bursting against them feels impossible because the fact that they can just keep effective range so well. So Phoebe is proving that quite immaculately here. But oftentimes it's better it's better not to burst than to burst in a bad situation. We're seeing that pay off for Suna here. Although ideally there are some situations where it might be a good idea. That Suna, was that was a great a round. round there. Yeah, showing signs of life. Will he be able to pull it off and, like, actually make it work out, though? Yes, we'll see. Ooh, Oof. Yeah, that J2K, a... not quite as good in this game as it is in Strive. Doesn't get an adequate punish off that. Yeah, Ooh, that, just... that burst was very good, but Suna managing to play around it admirably. Man, oh, no. Gets thrown right back into the corner. Very unfortunate air throw. Yellow Force running the Suna. dust for the mix-up, but just... Yeah, there, so that was a life with the gold burst. This is his last chance. Not out of it he, just yet, but can he keep this pressure situation going on long enough to keep Phoebe from winning this game? Making really good use of the triple jump there. Throwing out the kunai for Oki, uh, but just way too far out and is gonna get yeah. hit. His last chug of life. Phoebe is gonna move on to top eight with that. Yeah, very well played. Mm-hmm. Just uh, just explosive combos off of even just the most medial pressure starter. Really good stuff. Mm -hmm. May I? We're back. Good. It wouldn't be the first time this stream had a problem. <laughs> Wait. Well, you know what? The apple doesn't ever fall that far from the tree. Yeah. And that's like you're at least a little bit messed up. <laughs> How much mileage I... can we get out of this bit? How much? At least enough to get through the uh, in-between player matches, I think. Mm -hmm. I think. I think the tree bit. I think these trees are definitely making a pretty convincing stand-in for us. Oh, yeah. Just... As much personality as we have, I mean, I don't know about you, but I find my commentary a little wooden. Oh my god. <laughs> I was, that was truly... Tr I don't even have a pun for this. I you thought I had one. You don't even have... There's nothing you could possibly cook. That there's could nothing. I was, that was truly the worst. The worst thing I've ever heard. These matches have been going very quickly. Mm -hmm. Like these, okay. these best of three sets have been lasting on the order of maybe two minutes a pop. It's like crazy. Two minutes of actual gameplay, I should say. 
<laughs> These tree bits need to leave. No, I think, I think they could stay right where they're at. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I hope that as the tournament goes on, we're gonna start seeing some matches that are a little more competitive, a little more, a uh, little more of a scramble. A little bit more even than that. That was a. Every match we've seen so far has definitely been a blowout in someone's favor. I mean, that's not to say that there weren't signs of life. And I I do have great hopes for the loser's bracket and the winner's brackets here from here on out. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, Exert is the kind of game where if one player knows how to continuously exert pressure and the other player doesn't know how to escape that pressure, it's just curtains. Mm -hmm. So it looks like we're waiting. Waiting on what? Gotcha. We have an opponent for the next round. We have one person, Kizzer Crate. Kizzer Crate's person, I mainly know from Blaze Blue, but I also know he plays this game. And from what I've seen from VODs of him, extremely cracked Kai player. Obviously, I am the Kai guy. I know a lot about Kai. Been playing this character since Accent Core. I suspect this is going to be another one of those fast matches we were talking about a second ago. Yeah. But who knows? Could be surprised. It's okay. really just going to come down to how well uh, Kizzer's Crate's opponent could fight against Grinders. Mm -hmm. So if there's one thing I've learned about Exert in my time watching the game, it's that grinders sure do grind. Wait a minute, is this a protagonist matchup? Is that what we're seeing? A rival matchup? The bread and butter. The... So Beto and Kizzer Crate. Beto looking like they're playing us some soul bad guy. Getting ready to fire it up. Alrighty, and of course Kizzer Crate looking like he's about to play Kai. Understandable. Kai is Unders super understandable good to in this play game. your main your main in a fighting game. Yeah, that is understandable. You don't understand. Kai is super good in this game for some reason. And by for some reason, I mean because grinders. But let's well, see. Let's see if Beto can deal with it here. Let's see Killer Crate show off what Kai can do. Also a banger song choice. <laughs> kind of hard to go wrong with these Exert songs. Exert has... An immaculate OST, one of the best OSTs in fighting games. All right, straight off jump. Beto doing immediately his started. best to evade that combo, but oh boy. A whiffed Viper, a theme of uh, souls we've seen on the stream so far. That is a huge combo. Going for the Sacred Edge combo, but bursts out of it just before getting hit. Kai with this pretty, pretty unstoppable space control. For a oh, show right fight game. coming out, but unfortunately, just gets caught up in a Vito, combo. Vito is definitely swinging back here, not taking this laying down, mm -hmm. but unfortunately, gets caught by the JH. And that was 50% off a of magic pixel. You can't count against that clutch factor sometimes, right? Oh, yeah, straight away with that. Uh, that neutral winning use of two specials. Oh boy, but getting air thrown straight back into the corner. Showing off how good his Oki actually is in this game. But you know who else has great Oki in this game? Kai Kisuke. That's right. 
the, the, the triple punch in the Viper, but the Viper's gonna whip, unfortunately, and this is gonna be problematic for Vito here. Gets caught by the counter hit JH. That 5k, helping him right, come Sam back here. Coming in. The double blitz shield. Really good choice when, it, when your opponent drives in back, drives it back back. An excellent Viper there, but gets Look thrown. Look at that, crate, and unfortunately yeah. just gets chipped out by the stun edge. That was a close round, though. Vito mm -hmm. definitely has a chance. Vito isn't going down without a fight. And he's oh, showing man. that. That was a great use of Gunflame there. Doing exactly what it does best, keeping people out. And look at that! He's giving him giving up the neutral just so that he can bait him in and push him back out. Back that is the classic neutral play. Kizzer not making use of that grinder that he just set up. Pretty interesting choice. I think he just didn't want to give up the opportunity to keep him in the corner. That's fair. Oh man. The vapor and, thrust loops. And we can see why. Yeah, and that, that burst absolutely had to happen if he wanted to hang on to his life here. Doesn't manage to get his ride to lightning. That would have finished the game, but I mean, he still got the round anyway, so can't complain about that. Gives a great making short work of Vito here. The punish game is just... Oh no, unfortunate Viper there. He's gonna have to deal with this Oki setup now, but the Faultless letting him uh, push his great far enough away to get a second chance at neutral here. Faultless defense, Kai's oh, consistent weakness, wow. but unfortunately just doesn't get to do anything off that. That, that chase from Kizzer Crate was insane. Just not letting Vito breathe. Vito has burst again here, and I'm suspecting we're gonna see it here very soon. First to Bandit Bringer out, but unfortunately just he's stuck in the corner, can't do anything here. Yeah. Really good stagger there pressure. It was. From that was a... into the burst bait. Excellent burst bait with that Roman cancel. Kizzer Cray out for blood with that round. I've never seen. I've yeah, never he... seen such violence. What such he ferocity. Did... What he did there that was super clever was when, once he had Beto in the corner, he was able to just press these uh, low commitment buttons. You see, you saw a lot of stagger 5k and the like. Yeah. And immediately, as soon as he went for the higher commitment option, he knew Beto would see that as an opportunity to burst. And so he was like, ah, nope, Roman. And baited it out. It was absolutely textbook surgical gameplay. Outsmarted, you're outsmarting. Really, really good stuff. And this is the, is this a loser's bracket match? Oh. Um. This oh, appears to be top eight. Yeah. If I'm not reading the brackets wrong. Oh, okay, yeah, this is... From the looks of it, top 16. Oh, I see. Wow, that is incredibly confusing. Thanks, Start yeah. GG. got Drifter Dane returning, extremely cracked Dizzy player versus Dad Bad. A new we face. haven't seen yet. I'm excited to see more Dizzy. Mm -hmm. That character looks crazy. And it looks like if I'm looking correctly behind the button, the buttons menu, we're having a May gameplay. May definitely Dizzy. not a common choice in Exert, but still a pretty good character nonetheless. Dizzy and May, the battle of the jellyfishes. Mm -hmm. Jellyfish? I think that's probably how it goes. Probably. The jellyfish pirates. The jellyfish pirates, that's what they are. The pirates. Yeah, but I'm talking about the plural. Is the plural of jellyfish? Jellyfish? I think it's gotta be jellyfish. Because the plural of fish isn't fishes. Well, let's see who can put a plural of victories on the board. <laughs> Oh my goodness. It looks like Dizzy's round start options are really strong. Just absolutely able to 
steal neutral away immediately. But oh my that mad the staircase, the staircase combos there. Tad mad, not gonna let that happen. Tad mad, putting hella damage on the board for May, showing what May does best in every game she's in. Okay, this this burst from uh, Dad Mad was definitely smart, putting uh, Drifter Dane in the corner, but letting him get out a little bit there. Oh, this is gonna be <laughs> this is gonna be close. He's gonna rely on one or two more uh, interaction wins yeah, here. Perhaps the last interaction we're witnessing right now. Wow. Goes for the slide in. And Drifter Dane able to hang on to his burst. That's huge. It's caught by the laser, has to start blocking now, but manages to get past the flame bubble. Using that burst just to make sure May can't get the entire health bar. Dad Definitely Man just maneuvering around all of Dizzy's Oki options here. Completely ignoring all the projectiles. The worst defeat an enemy can suffer is to be ignored. Alright, straight into the corner. Dad Man getting some big exactly. damage on the board, that might be- wow. yeah, that's enough! That was a very convincing round. Mm -hmm. And uh, Dad Man's burst is just about back, but so is Drifter Dane's. This is probably going to be a very tight third round. Deadman showing that he is fully capable of defeating Drifter Dane here. But honestly, the inverse is also true. Uh -huh. Look at this combo. Unfortunately, it just, it just seems to be a situation of if you win neutral first, you win here. That's what this match is looking like. Did we just see a throw attack there? Pretty impressive from Drifter Dane to completely ignore that throw. Yeah, tech in a frame one throw is definitely not easy. Mm -hmm. You can't do it on reaction, you have to get a read. But we're seeing Drifter Dane putting Dad Man back in the corner, but just backing off. Really good decision yeah. here because Dizzy's first staying close online. To and we're gonna see it here pretty soon, I suspect. <laughs> Drifter Dane wow. trying to just stay away with all these zoning tools at this point because. Oh, wow! Great air throw! This is a huge opportunity, but put himself in the corner! Wait! Wow, what now. a throw! Yeah, he had to burst that, and this is this is one of just the question of the day. Can Dad Bad right, navigate through the projectiles and he the can? Kill. Let's go, Dad Bad. Can wow, what a close game. Putting a game on the board first thing in an extreme. That was the first close game we've seen this entire bracket. That was crazy. Yeah, I mean, Dad Bad has clearly shown. He can get in on Drifter Dane's projectiles, and we we just have to see if, if Drifter Dane can figure out how to better tighten up that offense in Oki. This is fighting games right here. The battle of the minds. Right into the corner here. Just really good, uh, those projectiles allowing Dizzy to approach. Crucial part of her gameplay. Her her arsenal of just projectiles that do different things for different situations makes Dizzy extremely hard to fight if you get in the corner, and especially in most ranges, she can just put you right there if she wants. To. Wow! And that burst was almost meaningless. Dad man managing to get out here, putting himself in a good situation. Drifter Dane's got to win at least like three more interactions, while Dad man only really needs to win one. But it's looking like he might be able to make that bubble happen with this combo off of the throw. Getting another bubble wow. into the kill there. Yeah, that was that was good stuff there. Absolutely able to make the adjustments to his Oki loops he needed. See if he can keep it up. May is definitely the type of character that you cannot give an opening to. Dolphin, dolphin trading with Disney's normals, really funny to watch. Goes with a jump in there. Not an easy thing to do against Dizzy, who's a character with like two really good anti airs. Both of these, both of these players taking great advantage of these air throws in order to keep their opponents in the corner. Mm -hmm. Dolphin really, now managed to really good throw some play. projectiles onto the board, but just isn't able to rival any of the things Dizzy's putting on the field. The double dolphin out. 
putting himself in the corner again. Had to burst there. Yeah, there was not really much else he could have done aside from burst. The flame bubble. Get some get some light hits. Get this is a combo huge there. opportunity for Dane. Slides oh, in yeah. past the flame projectile, but just isn't able to just, do anything. Just able to poke May out. That was mm -hmm. excellent. That was a pretty convincing two round. It's our first game three set of the entire tournament. Honestly, it's like Drifter Dane had a pretty big deficit to make up in both those rounds, but just managed to come back from each of them. This is superior neutral is just crazy, and we'll see if that allows him to win this game, or if that bad perhaps adapted to it. So like he's got some pretty good pressure right now. I think if Dad, out there. Yeah, I think if Dad Mad can just make sure that the pressure is just that that 5% extra airtight so he doesn't get put in the corner by himself. It could it could be the difference maker he needs, but oh this is a rough open. situation. Okay, opens him up at the low. No burst. Throw stuck back in the, into the corner. corner. Into the icicle. Yeah, that's dead. Yeah. Not much you could have done there. Really uphill battle here now. It has to deal with a zoner with burst. A zoner with burst while well, he has no burst. And just straight away, Drifter Dane saying, get back down. Here's back an air the, throw. Get back in the corner. Your timeout is not over yet. Oh my goodness. Just the Oki from Dizzy here, the play bubbles, the bites. Some everything. great Abare from Dad Mad there, though. Managing to bash out. Oh. Playing in a big deficit here, but his burst is back online. Using everything in May's arsenal to try to approach and just can't quite make it happen. Dadman's burst is back. They're playing a character with two really slow projectiles as against the Oh character. no, the burst got baited! That's, that's not good. This is horrible he's got a situation. Ball absolutely everything here, but yeah. just he's not able to do it. Just not enough meter. Wow. Drifter Dane gonna go into round go into winner's top eight. That's his what? key. What a great adaptation play we got mm -hmm. to see from Drifter Dane there. Oh, absolutely. Just manages to take the, the screwdriver of intellect and tighten up the screws of that Oki just that little bit that he needed. It's good. It's very good. It definitely looked like looked like he was struggling in that first game against Dad Bad, but he just had the download ready. The download was complete pretty fast. And that right there is fighting games. Adapting to one another is absolutely crucial. Sometimes you just gotta adapt. If you can't adapt, you're just gonna get wiped out. Oh my goodness. They took everything from us. Hello, stream. They took our chairs. They took our body doubles. They took everything that was plugged into the wall outlets. If Actually, I think you'll find we've been the outlets the entire time. Oh my god. You can't just expose our secret like that. I'm sorry. It had to be done. Had to be done. Yeah, guys. We weren't That's the why trees. We weren't the chairs. That's why you've seen so much electrifying commentary from us. Alrighty. <laughs> Zephalette once this again. Also winners quarterfinals. Start not GG moment. Yeah, so this is uh do? this is to get into top eight winner side. Mm-hmm. We lost audio. I we got I an acapella that, of the game now. I th wait, it's back. I think that is the uh, the classic PlayStation controllers changing the audio device. Yep. Oh, that was you. You did that. See, Advent and I are the outlets. Matchstick is the computer. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> He's a Toshiba crap top. You're just, you're just, a, you just got a few bugs. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Not the circular mouse pad. Axel and Slayer. Gekio completely new face this stream, but Zeppelot. They're definitely not after that game he played. But let's see. This is definitely going to be a harder matchup for Slayer because he's just not going to be able to approach. But if he does get in, if he does get in, we are going to see in. Axel's health bar. Oh wow! Wow! Immediately wow. getting that burst out. Getting his okay. burst out of the way and just going to destroy him, but gets thrown out of his combo. Gonna eat, his, gonna eat a combo of his own for this. Both of these players have insane combo game, as we can see. Slam to back into the corner. Definitely not even letting it breathe at this point. For a zoner, oh, that use super that is super. plus his health. Yeah, use that super to reset, but oh, is it gonna be enough? Wow. There's not the yellow Roman on the Renson Geki there, just gonna... Yeah, just allow. let him... Just let him say, nope. This is not an opportunity. He said, I whiffed that? I did Look that? again. Look again. Look at your health bar. Now back to me. Speaking of, speaking of Zeppelin's health bar. Holy All right, cow. seeing the sickle loops here. Yeah, just absolutely able to keep him all the way across the screen. But here's a huge opportunity for Zeppelin. And setting up these Oki loops. This super. Yeah, super here, that's, that's a lot of damage. That was a lot of damage. That was enough to kill. Yeah. Zeppelin is not out of it just yet. He is not going to let the donor take a hold of him. Yeah, taking advantage of these, uh, these command dashes to just work around everything that Axel has as best he can. That was a great way of getting in. That jump managing to clear the skull. Okay. Oh no! Oh, Unfortunate burst, burst but, but, there. but it looks like Gekio wasn't able to capitalize. But Gekio has the burst online. And let's be honest, Slayer's up close and personal type. He's gonna get bursted unless well, we've he can bait seen it out. bait out these bursts before. This hasn't been a problem for him, but here's the thing. I don't thing. know how relevant it's gonna be. Yeah. Wow. When you're a zoner, it doesn't matter how big your punishes are. If your opponent isn't close to you, you did enough. That's all you needed to do. Just keep him out. And that's what Gekio is doing here. He's keeping Zeppelin out completely. Oh, wow. But using the iframes of the dash there. Oh, the clash to get in. Oof. Yeah, he was he was in for a matter of moments, and the burst said no. Classic Axel gameplay. Get hit by one combo burst. And using that YRC there to make uh, some overhead mix. Oh, this is rough Axel, for Zeppelin. Axel being able to keep these Reds and Gekis safe while also keeping them active is huge for this matchup. Yeah. Oh man, and just calling out that teleport said, "Nope, you're gone." Not even gonna bother with it. Not even gonna play around with it. Okay, but this is exactly where Zeppelet wants to be. He's in. He is performing his offense. Is oh, but he's getting thrown. Getting thrown. Wait, I thought I just saw a double burst, but I don't even know what I saw. He got to use his burst and immediately is just in trouble again. Yep. That's really one of the big problems against uh, against zoners as far as first go. You are just putting them in their happy place. All right, but this is going to be big damage for Slayer here. Oh, yeah. Wow. So we're putting him on a there. pixel and just... Yeah. Wait, that what was the burst a... for? That might have been a huge mistake from Gekio. But if Gekio let's see... gets hit once here, it's dangerous. It is... Well... This is a big opportunity for Zeppelet. He he's needs, to take, got, he got needs to take advantage corner. of it now, though. Gets thrown. Yep. It gets, it gets a throw of his own. Blood shields out. Stuck in the corner. This is bad. Very bad for Zeppelet. I think his burst is going to come back online, but he manages to just abare his way out. Sometimes oh, gotta, that was a huge you play, cross up. Just gotta mash up. Goes for the and cross another up one. again! This is Putting huge. it back in the corner, burst out. Kind of had to there. Another last second burst. 
Yep, that burst makes perfect sense. Putting himself back in the corner. No, the air dash getting caught. Will he? Just keep wow! The pile bunker gonna completely stop him. Wow, those iframes coming in clutch. The dandy was, punch coming in. That was such a close game. I I honestly could not tell you who is going to win this third game. Extremely like convincing game two from Zeppel out there. Gekio's got to do some work now. Definitely probably a bit rattled by that, I feel. But uh, yeah, as you can see, just taking huge damage from Slayer. Slayer. Wow, this basically. combo. Not letting him do a thing. Getting the stun You're into a gone. pile bunker. You are gone. Wow, does Gekio have an answer? This momentum has swung really hard in Zeppelet's favor. All right, Gekio managing to get just one hit. This is all he needs. Keeping him out, but he's still he's still way too close to the corner. All right, Man, here he goes. Zeppelet just managing to navigate in with these command dashes. Just so puts attack into the gold first. Probably a good choice by Gekio here to get some meter. Oh, oh yeah. my god, the With sickle the... loops. Sickle loops, man. But unfortunately, he's going to drop it right before the last one. <laughs> Definitely not a position Gekio wants to be in. He now has no meter and no burst. And Zeppelet just playing patiently, able to navigate his way in. Stuck in the corner a little bit, but able to work his way out. <laughs> The teleport oh. dashes around the around the projectiles wow. there, keeping him just unable to use any of those normals that he has. Zephyllet, people out, hard earned advancing into winners top eight. That was some that was some impressive gameplay. He really showed uh, exactly how Slayer can deal with with Axel's pressure. Just work your way in slowly but surely. And as soon as you're in, just blow him up. You'll get there eventually, and Zeppelin definitely showed that in full force for that matchup. It's all about patience. And then once he got in, it's like those teleport dashes, he wasn't able to get a single normal off most of the time. Unless I'm wrong, I believe this is Phoebe and Mondo Cosmo. Looks like it. Yo, we're learning. We're learning. We're getting there. We're getting there. So as as we're gonna see Slayer for folks at home with OLED monitors. You might wanna move your screen a little bit. Yeah, I gotta watch out for that burn in. Or else Slayer will be permanently burned into your screen. Though let's be honest, if you're watching Exerd, you probably already got at least like four names burned eternally into your screen. Yeah, you probably you probably have the the pine berry countdown in the corner somewhere. We have seen no Elfelt. We have not. It's impressive. Well, let's see. We've we've had May, Slayer, Johnny, uh, Soul, Kai, Dizzy. Dizzy. Is that it? Chip, yeah, Axel. Yeah, Chip. Chip, Axel. Yeah, I, how did I forget Axel? I was say, we just watched. We just watched an Axel, and now we're about to watch another Axel. So, yeah, we've had eight characters, I believe. Definitely some good variety here. Except for the fact that obviously we just went from watching Slayer vs. Axel to watching Slayer vs. Axel. But. It's a cool matchup, and we'll probably see two players playing completely differently from the last one, so who knows. I'm looking forward to this one personally. Mondo Cosmos in that game that he had first round just went insane. And Phoebe also just really airtight Axel gameplay. Mm -hmm. Let's see just how airtight it is this time. Mm. Look at that man, his design is so sick until you get to the jorts. Until you get to the jorts, his design is fine. It's fine. 
But look at Slayer. Look at how dandy this man is. Where do you think Sharon goes? Oh, did she fly away in the background? Yeah. Wonderful. I think it's really funny that his wow. last name is just Sharon. That was a uh, that was a putting very Phoebe convincing in round. In the start. corner immediately, putting Phoebe in the corner and keeping them there immediately. It is gonna be big damage from Slayer here. Big Slayer damage. In danger of being perfected right now. Mm -hmm. With the counter hit there. Okay, but this is an opportunity no for perfect. Phoebe. No perfect. No perfect. I don't know how to work his way in, but I mean, he manages to do it, but gets knocked right back out. But just two to a teleport dash into two conveniently placed jabs. All you need. Alright, this is a much better round start for Phoebe. <laughs> Goes to the loop. But. Man, and put right into the corner against Slayer. It is as Axel, you cannot be here. Oh yeah, Slayer's Slayer's teleport is the number one thing that gives him any legs in this matchup, and you absolutely have to be on your guard as Axel. Just trying to just trying to stagger him with some long normals here. He be making him work. The air throw. air throw into the wow. throw. Wow! Wow! What a reversal there off of Mondo. Yeah, what a reversal. <laughs> So who's got the momentum now? Looks like uh, looks like it might be Mondo. Looks like Mondo has taken initiative by a large margin, in fact, getting the overhead there, but not able to combo off of it. I'm surprised. Off this we have seen no burst until right there. Okay. Saved it right for when they really needed it. I suspect it might be too little, too late. Perhaps just yeah. gonna get thrown into the into the corner and uh. Into the stream crash. Into the stream crash. Oh wait, no, yeah, we're, back. Back. we're back. We're back. Okay, okay. All right. We didn't miss anything important. We didn't miss anything. We missed the Slayer victory screen. Going into game two here. DB's definitely fighting an uphill battle. It looks like, but after that round last game, I mean, I don't know. It looks pretty even to me. It's anyone's game here, I feel like, but Mondo with the advantage. Oh, Starting yeah. off really strong in this round, too. Just look at this oh, damage. The counter hit on the overhead. Really this not is... something you want to get hit by. This is a really scary place to be for Phoebe. DP'd out. We get choice by Phoebe there, but just I'm, gets thrown. I really think. Out of the air. I really think we need to see some more preemptive burst from PB. There's always the meme about about zoners bursting the first hit. I think we need to see that, and there we go. PB taking my advice here. He burst to put Mondo in the corner, but Mondo's just able to get right oh. back out and reverse the situation. No, that Double is fight. that is a rough one. Oh my goodness, immediately getting, you know, Phoebe's making it out. Oh yeah. Slowly but surely making their way back out of the corner and putting Slayer into the other one. Such meticulous really gameplay here. Roman there. Will it be enough? It's getting very close. Set the loop into the overhead. A great Throws throw. Throws into the grab. That should kill wow. it. And it does. Wow. Okay, Phoebe is not out of this yet. Phoebe is showing signs of life. They just need to, they need to keep it clean in this round. But I don't know, just Slayer starting with that advantage. But uh, as soon as Axel gets one of those throws, you are just in a, in a world hurt. Oh no, the counter hit overhead. We're gonna have to see the burst soon. There oh, it is. Oh, gold burst. Out for blood this time. Definitely going full aggro with this play. Yellow Roman's the Renson. Letting it all <laughs> out. Plus. Jumps out with the, the jumping ass there. Phoebe also gonna have to be uh, <laughs> double overhead. The double there. overhead. <laughs> gonna have to be uh, cognizant of Mondo Cosmo's burst. Oh, I, but it unfortunately, doesn't matter. It looks like it doesn't matter. Oh, okay. Wow. Man, Phoebe absolutely fighting for every single advantage state. Mm-hmm. But Mondo Cosmo was just too strong. 
Thank, thank you, thank you, base god. Thank you, base god. I don't know, it was just like... It's like we said in the matchup previously, it's like Slayer just getting able to avoid all these all these normals. Because Axel's not a character with, like, fast normals. He's got to commit to all of them. And being able to teleport right through their hitbox is really problematic in that matchup. We're going to have a Slayer mirror in top 8. That's going to be are, wonderful. We are going to have a Slayer mirror, and that's going to be exciting. But if I... before we get there... Who do we have coming up here? Oh, this is Kizzer Crate. Looks like Kizzer Crate, and there goes my sanity. Is that right? There's no sanity. Yet another new player got a Kai. Ram Ramlethal Valentine. Ram is a definitely an interesting choice in this game. For context, she was like super good in the first version of Exert and Sign. And then, when Revelator came boss out, she got, right? yeah. When Revelator came out, she got nerfed pretty hard, down to the like bottom three, and then in this game, she's like decently mid tier. She's fine. But Ramlethal is a character that is almost completely different from how she is in Strive in this game, which can't be said for a lot of characters in Strive. I feel like, aside from like Viking or Testament, but we're not going to see Testament at all in this game. That's for sure. Still has insane range though. One of the few characters in this game with the range to contest uh, Kai without having just crazy zoner tools. Even worse than having a lot of range in this game, she has a lot of set play. Which is definitely going to be hard for Kai to deal with here. But I mean, that Greed Sever is just going to go ahead and open up. Mm -hmm. Goes with the Gold Burst immediately. Yeah, this is huge for Kizikrate. What? Sanity, not gonna let it uh, slow him down. Straight for the right. Oh, the oh, right, no! the right whips. The whip right. It's it's not. It's not a great super it's okay. in this game, but it exists. Everything was okay. Everything was fine. That was perfectly according to plan. Kizzer Crate wanted all that to happen. It's good to see that even in this game, Ramblethal Far Slash, you go to round start. The best round start button in the franchise. That's probably. extremely debatable because of six Ps. But in this particular instance, it doesn't much matter because man, Kizzer Crate is laying it on thick in this corner. All these plus bumps. Not that the guy has a lot of in, in stride, but in this game he has plenty of. Oh man, Yellow and just catching with those edge. air to airs. Ooh, That's six dead. H into the sacred edge. Gonna finish off game one. That was decisive. Mm -hmm. That was not. That was not very close. All right. Sanity's gonna have to has a lot of work to do to be able to pull it back from here. But unfortunately, the one weakness of Ramblethal in this game is that once she uses one of her swords for something, she basically loses it until she decides to call it back. Still and got these. Still got these uh, items oh, though. Oh, oh danger, danger time! time. Alright. And wow, Kizzer Crate immediately, immediately going on the offensive. Over the mortal cat. Doesn't get anything off the mortal! That was a pretty uneventful danger time if I had to say so myself. Oh, yeah. Might Seems be. like both players played pretty cautiously. <laughs> so many, go so many going, grinders. Going straight for the Oki setup here. Yeah, that burst makes perfect sense. Wants to make sure he's not stuck in that corner. It's a bad place to be at Maybe any in this time. Game, a really good slow button that actually has a lingering hitbox. Gets air thrown. Back into the Ramblefall set play. Even without swords, Ramblefall's buttons are very good. But that reversal ride the lightning. Simple like, but effective. Ram in this game, she's got a lot of really good target combos, and that's sort of her main way of fighting without her swords, but... I don't know, it's just like, not having those swords against a character like Kai is extremely important. It's damaging. His are great. Just able to get these air-to-airs every time he needs them. And there's another one! Another Kizzer Crate air-to-air, the classic, the trademark. 
Jumps it, gets thrown out of it though. This is this is a huge opportunity for Sanity. What can you do with it? Back. The sword just gets sniped out of the air. Not even a chance to activate. Oh man. That is a huge opener for Kizzer Crate. Kizzer Crate getting the stun dipper. Doesn't combo off it. Probably looking for the first. That gets first bait. The but whips the, whips the vapor thrust. But the air throw is going to take it. That's going to allow Kizzer Crate to win the set. That was, a, that, was a, that was a quick match. Extremely cleanly. Kizzer Crate did not even give him a chance to breathe. Definitely not over for uh, There Goes My Sanity, though. Mm -hmm. Still has a second chance at getting into top eight. But, I mean, Kizzer Crate is definitely one of the favorites to maybe win this tournament. Mm -hmm. So, we'll see. I'm excited. I'm also seeing that, excited. Seeing that Kai gameplay. I love watching Kai play. Of course you do. I'm going gonna, gonna to get so much hate for that. Well, that's what you look at every day that you play one of these games. Exactly. You're just looking at Kai do things while you surreptitiously press buttons. You're not really sure if there's a cause and effect. You just kind of do them. I actually don't remember what happened or happened during the tournament. The spirit of Kai Kisuke just took over my body. It's it's starting to get a little out of control. You wouldn't you wouldn't believe how many times he's just driving down the road and he just suddenly has an urge to ride the lightning. Sometimes I just have an urge to vapor thrust, which in a car is pretty hard to do. So it looks like right now we are having Phoebe? Feather and Phoebe. We're learning. The Fs. The F the F matchup. Well it's Yeah, actually Phoebe is spelled with an F in this case. Yeah. It works. I'm paying attention. Spelled like Phoebe, like the B comes with a fee. Oh. This appears to be... Yeah, this is gotcha. top 16. So, uh, loser gets ninth. So, obviously, uh, you know, everyone wants to make top 8 at every tournament they go to, so... Right. Just really trying, man. We're, yeah. we're going to see these players bear their hearts on their sleeves. Represent the souls of their characters through their inputs, just like Lord Advent and Kai Kisuke. And now, Phoebe, this actual gameplay is pretty clean. Unfortunately, we didn't get to see much of Feather's gameplay because they kind of just got bodied by by Mondo in that one match. Or not by Mondo, by uh, Zeppelin. That's the one. The Slayer made. But still, we get to see some Jonathan on the screen. An Axel spelled with an E. Getting the full intros. I respect it. That's what I love about that's what I love about Exit Plays. They just let the intros rock. And the intros in this game are godlike, so I don't blame them. But yeah, personally, I don't know. I have a this feeling that Feather's probably not gonna go easy. <laughs> Dick Axel's wish fell on deaf ears. Oh, jeez. Oh, wow, that coin came out? That was crazy. Okay, uh, well, Phoebe immediately got Feather into the corner, but Feather just kind of jumped away. Yeah, all right, Miss Fighters and back into the corner. Coin, Miss Fighter. Classic Johnny gameplay. The blitz can... shield coming out there. If we can, uh... I mean, this is this is kind of a scramble, isn't it? Yeah. I'm having trouble articulating what I'm seeing. I mean, Johnny's it's... just got... He, he's, he's doing big damage off the small confirms. And so is Phoebe. Phoebe's just kind of chipping away. But it's... I, I wouldn't say the, the advantage has really swung one direction at any point in this match. Yeah. It's definitely been a pretty even fight. But now Feather is completely out of points. He's gonna need to land. Unfortunately, he's not even gonna get the chance to land the super to get resource back. 
Yeah, Phoebe's gonna take the first round pretty convincingly there. Oof. Oh no! Oh no, Feather! You can't let him get away with this. Right, oh no. Teleport, but... I bet that that's gotta do some mental damage. All these overheads. Phoebe is rent free. Wow, in that throw. Phoebe is playing to we win. Bo we got bobber loop. The double overhead yet again. I think, uh, think Feather might be well advised to uh, just kind of mash a little bit here sometimes. Just have fun with it. But unfortunately, just isn't getting even a chance to do anything in that in that round. Oof. My goodness, that that looked painful. That just looked straight up painful. That quadruple overhead. <laughs> And straight away, Phoebe kind of running away with this set so far. <laughs> it was it was a pretty close first round, and it looks like Feather coming alive a little bit here. <laughs> really needs to land some of these coins. They just got to be able to get in. They got to be able to get something off these punishes they're getting. But unfortunately, it's just it's not enough. Goes the Blitz Shield, but doesn't actually get the attack off. Oh, great backdash there. This is a huge opportunity. Oh, the, the, the Johnny damage coming in. Oh, yeah. This is exactly where he needs to be. Can he make this happen on a pixel of health? No, not just quite. Hot during the Mistfinder dash. Rut row. Uh oh. Hello, stream. We've lost visual and audible. We're back. We're back. We made it. And it looks like. Feather is getting absolutely blasted right now. Holy cow! This oh my is... god, Feather is getting destroyed as we speak. Wow. And uh, tried to base, bait the burst there, I think, but uh, Feather wisely not giving it to them. Oh boy, I this is rough, they, I don't think they yeah. can give it to him, but that's just... That's gonna be it. Oh. And Feather knocked out at ninth place. Feather, unfortunately, just not getting really to do much during either of the games we saw on stream. It was a good showing, but mm -hmm. not quite going his way. Wow, we are going to have an Axel mirror in addition to our... Uh... We have an Axel and a Slayer mirror in, in top eight. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. That'll so, work. uh, so did we, did all of the the bracket matches up until top eight get completed? Wow. You guys are efficient over there. can't believe you did that to us. Leave us in suspense like that. Well, that's just good business. <laughs> Look, man. No. I guess I guess uh before we leave, we may as well take this opportunity to plug ourselves. So uh <laughs> So uh I would just like to say that uh, I have been Blitz. You can find me on Twitter if you want to see just kind of uh, some musings sometimes about uh, cars or Star Trek or Halo or fighting games. I have a pretty eclectic Twitter. 
Uh, it pretty, is at Max's Blitz. Extremely random. And I, obviously, Lord Advent. You've heard my voice plenty of times on both matched extremes and here at this point. Uh, mainly just a fighting game guy. Do a lot of... My Twitter is kind of not used much. It's sort of variety content. Fighting games, JRPGs. Uh, common writers sometimes. Anime. JRP whatever. trees. JRP trees, exactly. Uh, a lot of shit posts. It's like pretty much a bunch of random stuff, variety content, like I said. There you go. But well, if you want to follow me, that's at Rivals Advent, but you'll get to be seeing me later probably for Strive's commentary, I can imagine. Oh, yeah. Uh, but we'll have to wait a little bit for that. I think Just like 15 bit. minutes or so. Gonna have an ad break. Good idea. Hopefully, hopefully the stream comes back at the right time this time. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure everything will go well. It will work out. Bye.